that human-sized bat going viral. Here's what you need to know about this. Now, can you imagine seeing something the size of a human looking like this? I would uh, hightail it, <laughs> hightail it out of there. What can I tell you? I've turned the image upside down so you can have a better idea of its of the perspective of it, what it would look like. Uh, I'm sorry to say that it looks really gruesome. <laughs> I would, I would not want this on my... Uh, worst enemy. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Now this is a closer up of the thing and it's obviously sleeping. I would hate to see what it looks like when it has its eyes open. But anyway, this is uh, what it looks like. Now most bats are not at all this big, obviously. While bats live nearly all over the world, only some parts of our planet are blessed with flying foxes. It's no wonder that a recent photo of a huge fruit bat in the Philippines has gone viral on social media and this is it remember when i told you all about the philippines having human-sized bats well this is what i was talking about this is what twitter user alex joe star 622 wrote in late june like many viral things the photo then tweeted actually uh, originated a couple of years ago on reddit when the filipino user sakundas allegedly encountered one of these beautiful animals in their backyard the perspective in the particular shot makes a bat seem far larger than it is. Flying foxes are most certainly not human-sized, while the latest species do reach, uh, the largest species do reach about, uh, with a wingspan about five and a half feet. Their bodies are quite small, barely extending 11.8 inches or 12 inches, maybe a foot. There's no doubt the bat is real, though. The Reddit user even posted another photo from a different angle of the bat, yawning as it was awoken from its daytime slumber flying foxes are typically nocturnal so obviously uh, they hunt during the night various captions on the internet describe it as a giant golden crowned flying fox which seems dubious as it does not look like the bat is sporting the tuft of yellow fur on top of its head the golden crowned flying fox is one of the largest bat species in the world belonging to the family of megabats that are found in parts of Africa, India, Asia, and Oceania. It's possible the sleepy creatures uh, were actually large flying foxes, Petropus vampiris. Okay, that's a beautiful name. Vampiris Petropus. Mm. A similarly impressive megabat characterized by its long pointed ears and fox-like face and head. And in the Philippines, nearly all flying foxes are threatened species due to habitat loss and being hunted as human food source. As we know, that's also taking place and happening in China recently. Despite various cultural associations linking bats with vampires, and where, why do we have that Petropus vampirus, that's a species name? Anyway, um, now despite the cultures linking them to vampires, flying foxes are far from being bloodthirsty beasties of the night, as Frugivores, they, 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 in other words, they eat fruits. These bats are noisily, they will noisily chatter as they feast on figs and other fruits at dusk and roost in large treetops clumped during the day. They'd rather drink nectar than go for the blood. In fact, out of more than 1,300 bat species found around the world, only three of these little beasties feed on blood. Bi biologically, it's actually a pretty strange diet. And unlike their macro, micro bat Brethren, flying foxes don't navigate, navigate by echolocation, relying on their sense of sight and smell instead. In other words, they don't use uh, you know, the screeching and uh, radar. They use sight and smell instead of that. While bats, even the adorable fuzzy ones, I don't think of anything adorable or fuzzy. Don't, don't get me wrong. I like animals, but not this, not this one. Uh, do carry a risk of zoonotic disease. They're also extremely important for the world's ecosystems, providing pest control, pollination, seed dispersal, and more. And most of them are pretty cute, too. Well, that's what this, this person thinks, but uh, I disagree with that. This is by Sing Dean on Science Alert. Alert. So tell me what you think about this nocturnal beastie. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. 
These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.